very rarely been embarrassed and sad there is that it's been 26 years. What was it tonight that allowed you to beat them that sound? I mean, we, we know they're a good team and, you know, they're well coached and they have really good players. They just haven't really got it going yet. So, I mean, we knew they were going to come out and, and give us their best shot. And so we had to be able to dictate offense and defense. And I think we did that well. And our bench helped a lot too, which um, helped us down the stretch as well. Yeah, I agree with Sab. That's just a young team. They're still in their rebuilding phase. It's not a knock towards them. They all are very, very talented. And it's going to take a couple more games and they'll be right back at it. But I think we just came out and executed as a team today and it showed. Yeah, it feels good to be kind of back to my game, like getting steals and help my team um, on, the, on the offensive team, on the offensive end by playing well on defense. So, all all glory to my team. I give it all to them. So, yeah. For sure. I mean. Having 10,000 and you know 11,000 this weekend um, is crazy. I feel like every single game we play, we're at 10,000 or more, and that gives us a huge advantage. I mean, that pumps us up and fires us up, and they stay engaged throughout the whole game. I mean, I don't see people start leaving till maybe two or three minutes left in the game when, when we're up by a lot, and so I know that helps us, and uh, you know I think that goes to show that we're a fun basketball team to watch, and um, I mean, we're, we're going to need them down the stretch in this Pac-12 and, and the NCAA tournament to keep, keep giving us that juice. For sure, I mean, especially the young kids, you know, being a freshman or sophomore and coming into an environment like this is not easy. Um, and so you can definitely tell that some people are a little bit more nervous and, and teams know, I mean, this is a really tough place to play and I think it's it's one of the toughest places to play in the country and I think teams are kind of starting to understand that and, and really realize that we have an advantage when we play at home. Um, yeah, I mean, Lydia's gotten so much better on, on both ends of the floor and her ability to read and just how, how quick she is helps. And so she sets that ball screen and rolls really fast. And um, I think the attention always is on Ruthie and, and people might not take her um, so seriously. And so she gets, you know, easy, easy um, layups at the basket. She sets great screens. She rolls. She, she hustles on defense, on offense, getting rebounds. And so she should be rewarded. So um, she sets good screens. And we practice it every day with, with all our bigs. And so it's not just me and Ruthie, but um, Lydia is doing a tremendous job as well. I mean, it's, it's really cool. It's, it's definitely a different coaching style than what I'm used to, but this is what it takes to be on a championship level, and it's what I signed up for. So, I mean, I'm all in for it. It's been cool. My coaches are awesome. My teammates are awesome. So it's been nothing short of amazing.